Today we're going to be talking about work-life balance. Now this one I'm personally still working on because I work full time. Standing in front of God and he's reading out a list of I'm my dad, so I have my wife, my daughter, I have other responsibilities within the community, the church, and I still want to work out. So I have a lot on my plate, still working at this, however I want to give you my tips that I'm currently doing to make sure that you can potentially balance this and have the best outcome. Work-life balance is about finding equilibrium between your professional and personal life, ensuring that neither overshadows the other. Start by defining your priorities. What truly matters to you? Knowing your priorities is going to help you allocate your time and energy wisely. You need to establish clear boundaries between work and personal life. When work hours end, you need to switch it off. It's very crucial to give your personal life the attention that it deserves. I know that personally, my wife will say, what are you doing on your phone? Get off your phone. And I am checking emails. I'm doing something stupid. I'm messaging somebody when really I should be spending time with my family. Self-care is non-negotiable. We schedule regular self-care activities, whether it's working out, which we already have in here for you, reading, maybe you like running, maybe you want to go just for a walk with your family. Whatever the case may be, you need something that's going to relax you and bring you back to your normal self and recharge your battery. A well-nurtured you is a more productive you. We are also giving you all the tools you need for time blocking, planning. That way you can tell yourself when you have what, because this is so crucial and this is what has really, really helped me balance my uh, work life and family life. Communication is key. Talk to your family and your coworkers about what you can and can't do. You need to set balance. I know way too many people that will always pick up an extra shift. They'll always work overtime because their boss asked them to. And every time they come in, they're like, oh, I hate this, blah, blah, blah. But they need to learn to say no. That's going to ultimately negatively affect them in the long run. On that topic, you need to learn to say no. Overcommitting can cause stress and life imbalance. Be selective in taking responsibilities, both at work and in your personal life. Remember, it's about quality and not quantity. Personally, whenever someone asks me to do something, I'll do that, I'll do this. And honestly, it was just eating away at me because I only have 24 hours in a day as well and I need to focus on me sometimes. Going back to the mindfulness thing, you need to cherish your personal time with your family and your kids. Make this quality time because you never know when someone's gonna take their last breath. Working in healthcare, I've seen way too many sad stories and honestly, it just breaks my heart. And be present with your loved ones. Like I said, you want to have that quality time and actually have that mindfulness towards it. You want to really reflect on your work-life balance. Ask yourself, am I headed in the right direction? Am I making everybody happy? And I promise you that you will be constantly making adjustments. Flexibility is the key to an ultimate happy life.